What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and today we're talking about Tarkov Arena because it had an update one day exactly after Escape from Tarkov updated. They did a lot of changes and added a few things, but is it enough to make Tarkov Arena enjoyable? That's what we're here to talk about right after today's video sponsor. Battle Cat Company, looking for a 2A and veteran friendly apparel company with awesome t-shirts, patches, and hats and stickers, then look no further than Battle Cat. They have an amazing assortment of awesome apparel, but you'll definitely find something that you like. Make sure you guys check them down in the description below, click the link and use code 1776 when you check out. So today's Tarkov Arena update added a few new things and fixed one of the most annoying things about the game. Now, of course, obviously the first thing that they added to this was the recoil from the Escape from Tarkov update that we got yesterday. And I gotta say, as someone who's really enjoying Tarkov right now, with that recoil, I'm really loving it in Arena. It is nice, I like this. It gives you a chance to actually practice. Like I said, a lot of what I thought about Arena is it's just gonna be a place to practice gun gunfights in in Escape from Tarkov in its own separate area where you don't have to worry about gear fear and things like that and you can get your aim on point, practice, get really good with it and jump into Escape from Tarkov and be somewhat competent with the guns in the game. The recoil is on par, it's very, very good, easy to control, you have the left, left shoulder transition, you also have vaulting in uh, Arena 2 which does cause some problems, I did see some people get into a few areas that they weren't supposed to be in, but overall, nothing crazy or game-breaking, just on top of, like, objects that you wouldn't normally expect them. So now you gotta kind of look a little higher than you would normally. But the recoil in itself is awesome. Fits totally with Tarkov Arena. Um, the guns are all pretty good. Uh, nothing feels super laser-beamy. Nothing feels super... I mean, the SMGs, of course, because they're SMGs. So you can, anybody who's ever shot a full-auto MP5 will tell you how laser-beamy <laughs> some machine guns are on full-auto. Um, but most of the guns are really good, recoil is controllable, pretty even playing field it, fe it feels like for the recoil, which I'm liking a lot. It, it, you know, especially with the left shoulder transition, playing these maps, being able to actually get nice little angles on people, the gunfights feel good. I like that. The recoil was one of my biggest things that I liked about this new Targov patch. I'm liking it in Arena. It fits well with Arena. Makes it play better. So that's another good thing that we're getting for it. They also surprisingly added a new map called Chop Shop. Now this map, I spent probably about an hour and a half today trying to play. It is in the small, like, shootout, two to three player, uh, you know, game mode that they have. I sat tons and tons of time in the lobby, waiting, waiting, trying to get people to match up. Nobody's really playing it. Uh, nobody really played that game mode to begin with. Not a lot of people are playing Arena because of Escape from Tarkov. Really hard to get the footage on it. Um, but I, I am going to put some screenshots up here to show you guys what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. Like, uh, you know, it, it, it's, that's all I can really say about it. It looks cool. Would like to try it. <laughs> that's about all we got. But it's cool to see a new map this quickly in Arena. Uh, just shows that they're actually putting some love into it and not going to leave it on the back burner. And finally, we got a fix to my biggest complaint kind of a band-aid the matchmaking the matchmaking i absolutely hated thought it made zero freaking sense made the matches completely unfair and we got a bit of an update now before the matchmaking worked the way it worked was it worked off of your arp your arena ranking um doesn't matter what gear so if you wanted to go back to level one tier one and level up a new class you got stuck with people who are higher gear than you and it didn't matter what gear you were wearing now what it does is it factors in your ARP score plus your gear score of the kit you used in the last round. Kind of a band-aid. The reason I'm saying kind of a band-aid is probably from this footage you saw. I was playing against a bunch of low tier guys or middle tier, tier three, tier four down to one. Because guess what? I hadn't bought a kit before that. So it just threw me in based off of my ARP and not gear score. After that though, I was consistently getting geared with people that were in my correct gear score. Uh, people that had kits, one below me, my kit, or one above me. Not two above me, not three below me, not three above me. It was pretty evenly spaced. And the fights felt better because everybody's gear was kind of oriented the same way. Um, nobody felt super easy to kill. Nobody felt super tanky. Uh, it felt a lot more fair. Now, does this 
mean that it works exactly like it's supposed to be? No. Because if I wanted to jump into Tier 1, I could jump into a Tier 1 kit, and then I get thrown into gear, like, guys based off of my ARP. It doesn't matter my gear score. It's going to matter the last gear kit I played, which will be higher level tier. So I'm going to be up-tiered severely with a Tier 1 kit. And I saw it in a few other matches where people were running around Mosins because the last kit they played was a high tier kit. So therefore you're starting to run into like it's a, it's a small little band-aid to a bigger problem with the matchmaking. So you kind of run into the issue well, you know, if I want to switch kits, I'm for one round I'm basically going to get dunked on and then from there I'll get correctly tiered in. So if you're moving around and jumping around kits and stuff, it creates kind of an issue. You can't jump around classes yet, but it's still better than the old way to where if I wanted to go and level up a new class, well, SOL, guess what? You're playing against dudes that are, you know, way higher tier and you're just going to get stomped on completely. It's a band-aid, but it's a working band-aid. I definitely think it's better than the last system that they created or the, just the solely ARP, it's definitely better, and it's a good push towards, like, working the matchmaking out. Um, and I'm glad we got it kind of soonish. It just shows they're kind of paying attention to it. But it does make the game a little more playable. It's not as horrible as it was before, where you're kind of locked in, or, you know, you're getting super up-tiered. It's a good start. I think we're getting into a good start. I don't know... I, I just don't know. Like, I feel like BSG might be on their game all of a sudden. They also did increase rewards, too. Um, you get more XP for headshots, kills, uh, assist, things like that. So typically, rounds that I won where I did awesome and I was only getting 7k XP, I'm getting like 9 to 11k XP. Uh, so you definitely get more XP on a performance boost. Um, and even losing, you still get more XP for just the kills in general. So it's, it definitely is a little easier to grind. It didn't lower the XP cost for kits that, you know, you have to get. Um, but it makes it a little easier. Uh, but honestly, I'm a little pleasantly surprised that we got an update to Arena. Um, I thought the Arena, the original update, um, when it released... The, the way it was was pretty terrible, especially with the matchmaking. It was it was bad. It was really bad. A lot of choices that didn't make a lot of sense. Um, but it is good that it is getting love and very quickly. Um, I thought we were just going to have to go where we're doing Tarkov patches and then maybe like a couple months later we'll do an arena patch. It's, it's good that they're patching them and updating them together. Um, it just shows that it's not kind of like this DLC that's going to be forgotten. They're actually working on it. So I don't know what who Battlestate is lately, but suddenly Battlestate is doing things that I actually like. And, you know, other than server issues, which they'll never seem to address, I feel like. Um, I've been pretty pleasantly surprised with a lot of these things and these updates. So GG's Battlestate, way to change my mind uh, and kind of make me make me eat my words all of a sudden. So I you know, keep doing God's work, I guess. Uh, but, you know, if you, you were kind of upset about the matchmaking in the arena, definitely give it a try again. Um, see how it is. You have to wait at least one match, of course, before it starts to work. But uh, so far, I think we're heading in the right direction with this. This might just be something that uh, they, they fix up pretty quickly. And I'm uh, kind of excited to see what they do next with this. But anyways, boys... Let me know what you think about the arena update. Are you surprised by it? Stuff you don't like? Let me know down in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.